closure of China Square is so unfair. Unfortunately, the government of the day has messed this up. Na tunajuanga ata huko na nyamagima, tuko na ata na vorena asengine. It is not only the only vorena mwenye anafanya biashara hapa. Today I'm visiting the China Square at the Unicity Mall to see how everything is going after the shop was closed about two days ago. I boarded a matatu from these terminals along Tomboya Street, but we also have other buses plying the same route. It's only a short distance from the city, and there is no traffic at this time of the day. Let me get to the mall so that we can see what's going on. As you can see, this is the KU stage, and here is the Kenyatta University Gate B. The mall is just a few meters from here where you can see that signboard. You can opt to take a motorbike or just walk. This is the situation here. There are so many people who are coming to shop. Most of them are saying that they had no idea that the shop was closed and they have only come to learn about it now. Although some have admitted that they were just coming to check whether it's open, and many are still hoping that it will open again soon. But this thing has been hyped a lot. No wonder we have so many people who are still coming in. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm at the China Square where I came to assess the situation a day after the shop was closed. I've also managed to speak to a few people to get their opinion about what they would like to see going forward. Kindly enjoy the video and if this is your first time on the channel, I urge you to consider subscribing and also press the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you and welcome. I'll be strolling around the mall and also speak to a few shoppers to get their insight on what they think should be done going forward. Oh, me and Mike. Mm -hmm. And I'd come to the China Center to see what they have. Unfortunately, the government of the day has messed this up. We don't know why. But I think it is the very worst thing that can happen to a business. It's a killing of an investor. Me personally, I sell things. So I was coming here to buy so that I can go and sell. Saying that these people are messing the Nyamakema business, that's a lie. In Isili, Isili is still thriving. They sell clothes at wholesale. We don't go to Isili, we simply go to the shopkeeper who has gone to Isili picked up my pair of jeans, come and brought it to my estate, I buy from him. Because I don't have the time to go to ECB. 80% of the people who are coming here, they are not actually consumers. They are retailers and wholesalers. They are coming to buy so that they bring it closer to the people. Now, some people did not have jobs. They are coming here to buy the go and hope. So he is creating employment indirectly. Then the government does this. I think this is the worst thing, it's you failed. What's your opinion? My opinion is the government has failed and it has let us down very badly as hustlers. What would yeah. you like to see going forward? I mean, let them open and let him do his business the way he wants to do it. Why are they receiving? are in the liberal market. Why aren't you going to petrol stations, the ones that are selling fuel at less and close them down there? Why aren't you going to supermarkets that are selling products at a lesser price and close them down too? This is a very bad way of approaching things. Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> Opinion ya kodi gani? Ifunguliwe, kusimi kwa kitu saidi ya sana na tangu ifunguliwe, tume kwa kipata kitu sini zipo quality and they're cheap. Okay. Can afford them. What about you? Mimi ni studi ya paki na jeki. Si kama comrades, like kitu cheap na jeki na kitu saidi ya kuzuwe si sema like ma comrades ni wako na kwa ya sana na ona. Na pata like kitu kama dress na jeki pata very cheap, but sana pata ziki fungwa, adi kuzi pata kuzi tumi na kuwa kazi na ona. So meaning, you're on the layer, and I'm not familiar with the 
kipate vile tunaweza kusaidia okay so kwa machina ni Albert Kimutai Mayo mimi ni mwana boda boda wa hapa University Mall eh tangu hicha ina siku ya ifungwe haki kusema kweli imetoa effect sana kutoka asubuhi atochapata hata ndururu yani tuko na wengi hapa yenye tuko na tuko hapa hivi unasema ati oh nimepata 200 wengine hata 100 na hakuna hata hiyo kazi ni maybe ni mtu amekupigia simu mali lakini so kusema kweli tungeomba government ama watu wenye wako in wako concern with the city ni kuelewana kwa sababu ukiona ya kweli watu wa boda boda hapa tulikuwa tumepata kazi ya kupeba kazi nzuri eh si vizuri tufungie mtu kwa kwa sababu tukiongelea hapa kama vile mheshimiwa alikuwa amesema eh, tupatie watu wa ifili hapa tupatie eh, watu wa nyamakima na wapi na wapi hapa wavuja wafanye biashara ni kweli atukatai lakini tunasema hii university imekuwa for some time kwa ilikuwa dormant for so, for so long so waja tu huyu mchaina akuja afanya kazi yake na tunajuanga hata huko na nyama kima tuko na hata na foreigners wengine it is not only the uh, only foreigner mwenye anafanya biashara hapo so aturuhusu tufanye uh, aruhusu mchaina akuja afanya kazi yake hata sisi tupate unga ya kila siku thank you mimi kwa machina naitwa david ogetonto hapa kwenye toto hii stage ya kiyo boda boda sako e, kutoka juzi wenye nilisikia watu wanaambiwa wasifungue hapa kwa mchaina e, si vizuri sana kasi imerudi chini sana juu tulikuwa tunatarajia kasi lakini wenye kulifungwa na kasi ya tutapata vizuri sasa tunaomba wenye waliosema hiyo kasi simame mchaina tunaomba aachiliwa afanye kazi tu kila mtu na biashara yake tu hata kama ni matatu pay ya ifanani mtu anaweza beba na msini wengine wanabeba na mia um make in atichi i'm a student in kenya university so i feel the closure of china school is so unfair because uh, the cost of living has been so high uh, the prices of items has been so high so when China Square opened the things were so cheap and I think it was a uh, relief for some of Kenya because we we found cheaper and affordable items. I think it's it the closure should not continue to be open. Uh, I think the government should provide more support for the local traders so that they can find a healthy way of balancing the competition. Yeah.